It came to my attention this week while I was writing this script that there are still people out there who don't know what buy nothing groups are or no buy groups. So let's fix that. I'm gonna talk all about buy nothing groups today. I'm gonna use the terms interchangeably as well as how they're saving planet and how they're saving everyone money. Hello everyone, it's Emma and welcome or welcome back to my channel where I talk about all sorts of things everybody's focusing on free, easy and fun ways to live low waste. And today is one of those free ways to live low waste because as the name implies, we're literally going to be buying nothing by joining one of these groups. Let's first talk about what even is a buy nothing group. Well, as I said, it's in the name. We're literally buying nothing by being in one of these groups. It started with the Buy Nothing Project, and their goal has always been to foster a gift economy, a system designed to help neighbors and the planet. From their website, they say, Buy Nothing communities are already a global reuse economy with immense social and environmental impact. Our future development will also empower each of us to keep more items in use while we build strong communities and sustainable livelihoods for the makers, fixers, and others who will transform old into new over and over again. They are literally key to living a zero waste life, which is even more surprising that people still don't know about these groups. If you have something in your life that you don't want to throw away because like it's still kind of good but you don't think it's good enough to sell or maybe even donate give it to your buy nothing group if you need something weird but you're not really sure where to find it ask your buy nothing group when we were moving from las vegas to washington we had some things that i kind of had in the same category of this stuff isn't necessarily bad enough to throw away like someone could still get use out of this but i don't think it's good enough to sell i put it all in my buy nothing group things like our old rv fold out couch that was just on rails like there was no actual like frame to this couch. I got rid of some wobbly shelves, some old glass jars, some old plastic containers. All of it went for free on my buy nothing group. It all stayed out of the landfill and someone got some use out of it. Let me show you some literal trash that I got rid of for free on my buy nothing group to prevent it from going to the landfill. First up, we have a couple shelves and cabinets that are totally beat up, scuffed up, and are not very sturdy, but they went for free. Next is this couch. This was in our RV and we ripped it out so that we could build a cabinet instead. And we thought for sure this was gonna go to the landfill, but someone took this for free. I was also shocked. Someone wanted my compost bins with compost in them. Like both of them are gone. This cat tree that was a little beat up. My poor almost dead snake plants. If you follow me on Instagram, you know what this means. But I gave it away for free. Said if you can revive it, it's a free plant. This plant that looks dead, but I promise it blooms so pretty in the fall. So I'm like, because it looks dead, you can have it for free. Some food stuff and literally some empty candle jars. Not even empty, like they need to be cleaned out. Someone wanted these. Always check your buy nothing group before sending stuff to the landfill. People want everything. One man's trash truly is another's treasure. Part two of literal garbage that I got rid of on my buy nothing group. We have just a box spring. Granted, it's really nice, but I just didn't expect someone to want just a box spring. Which that is just a mattress. I promise we didn't get rid of my cat. This was from our RV. We put our nice mattress in there and took this crappy one out and someone wanted it. This little cat box is pretty nice, but I didn't clean it and we also found it in the trash ourselves. So again, another item that I found in the trash and it's a little stained and a little wobbly, but someone took it. Two fruit containers of laundry pods. I just had way too many to take in the RV with us and someone took them video about this one in particular but this is like 40 random jars that someone wanted this knife block that has like four knives missing in this pollinator water bucket it's from branching together and it's a really great product made from upcycled material so this bucket would have otherwise ended up in the landfill had they not made this but it was a little gross and someone wanted it anyway now how do i find a buy nothing group to join chances are you probably already have one in your area they've been around for a long time and they've really started to gain popularity as the need for living a more eco-friendly life has also gained popularity. As well as with like inflation and the crazy rise in prices over the last four years or so, that's another reason why they have become so popular. They're great for saving the planet and for saving people money. It's most likely going to be a Facebook group. So I would suggest going into your Facebook search bar and searching something like buy nothing Las Vegas or no buy group Las Vegas. It's usually a combination of the words buy nothing or no buy plus your city. And if you're in a rural area, it might be your whole county. So when I moved to Las Vegas, I searched buy nothing Las Vegas and lo and behold, there was already a group created. Alternatively, you can head to their website slash download their app. I will leave links down below and you can find your community that way as well. But what if I don't have a buy nothing group? Can I start one? The answer is yes. Maybe you live somewhere rural or maybe your city just has never heard of it yet. You can be the one to start it. They have a full guide on their website breaking down how to start a buy nothing group for yourself. But basically you will need to download the app, create a profile, optionally take their free course on setting up a successful no buy group, get your community builder badge and boom, your community will be set up and ready to go and trade. Now, the only thing to do from here is to promote your group. This could be hanging up flyers in local cafes and thrift stores. This could be, you know, if you're on a other community page, like I know there's some community pages like community watch pages, mom groups. Like I was a part of hiking Las Vegas and Las Vegas vegans groups when I was, when I lived there. So I might post in there like, hey, this seems like the kind of community that would like to trade 
come join our buy nothing group and let's get to trading something like that to spread the word and then eventually it'll snowball from there people will tell their friends people will tell their co-workers because they're so amazing who doesn't want free stuff and who doesn't want to get rid of stuff for free now how do no buy groups work every no buy group is a little bit different but in general, there are some rules that everyone will follow. You either make listings on the app or on the Facebook group, and standardly you will lead your post with give or need. That way it's clear what you're asking for. So for example, when I was getting rid of like an old wobbly shelf, <laughs> some plant shelves, I put on there give plant shelves, gave some details, like some dimensions. And then the same, like if I needed something, if I needed some moving boxes, I would say need moving boxes, which moves us on to another etiquette rule is to typically give your location, not like your whole address, but you can give your zip code or your cross streets. In Las Vegas, it was very common to give cross streets. So I would say something like located at Main and Second Street, which is like literally where Main and Second intersect. But when I lived in Ohio, as I do now, it was very common for us here to do zip codes. So I would say, you know, looking for dining room table located at 45304 or whatever zip code. Is that even a zip code? I'm just making up numbers. Also with these groups, they're most likely first come first serve, often abbreviated as FCFS, but you can determine if you want to hold items or not. I like to hold items for a certain amount of time. If someone says, messages me, and they're like, hey, I really, really want this. I'm interested, but I can't come till this evening. I'll hold it. But if someone says, hey, I'm interested, but I can't come for five days, I'm gonna be like, mm, sorry, I'm moving on to the next person. So you kind of have the liberty as the, the seller, the, the giver on if you wanna hold items or not. Um, you could also just say like, hey, it's on my porch. Whoever gets here first gets it. Leads us to the next common etiquette, which is porch pickup, which is sometimes abbreviated as PPU, but also Pending pickup is also PPU, and that means like someone is on their way, which is pending pickup. But porch pickup is, as I said, you literally just put it on your porch, you message someone your address and say, okay, come get it. That way they don't have to worry about like waking up your baby, waking you up, disturbing you. They can come on their own will. Like if they don't have time right this second, they can come in a couple hours, but maybe you prefer not to give out your address. Don't worry, you don't have to. You can meet at your cross streets. You can meet at a local cafe, a local gas station, somewhere safer. It's kind of up to you if you wanna give out that location and if you wanna drive and that sort of stuff. And let's quickly talk about the importance of buy nothing groups and shopping secondhand slash gifting. I have a full post on the importance of shopping secondhand that you can check out after this right here. But in short, building circular economies are of utmost importance as we have climate change, the pollution crisis, as well as our landfills are running out of space. So a linear economy is designed to create stuff from new, use it, and throw it away. Meanwhile, a circular economy is designed to make stuff from new, use it, repair it, find ways to mend it and upcycle it, donate it or sell it, reuse it in many new ways, recycle it, and so on and so forth, keeping it out of the landfill for as long as possible. Because our landfills only have so much space left in them, and you can learn more about that in this video, but also why throw away good resources? As I've proven with my other videos of me giving stuff away in my buy nothing groups, one man's trash really is another's treasure. Just because you don't want it doesn't mean someone else won't want it. Of course, there is a line between literal garbage and stuff that you just don't want, but like maybe someone else will. And I'm talking stuff like, you no know, food wrappers, and maybe someone might want them. Dirty tissues, dirty paper plates and so forth. But there has been stuff, again, like I deemed trash, like old empty plastic containers and a kind of broken shelf that someone wanted. So you never know for sure. You know, when in doubt, post it. If it doesn't go, then you can landfill it. But I would say always check your no buy group first because you never know. Not to mention, it's also super important to reduce the amount of brand new resources that we're creating, extracting, harvesting, and creating new stuff with. I keep coming back to that broken shelf because that's about the only thing I can remember from that video. Someone using that old broken shelf and maybe they fixed it, maybe they painted it and make it, make it look really nice. Using that instead of, you know, chopping down a tree and making a brand new shelf, that's what I'm talking about here. Using the resources that we have already harvested, extracted, and made versus growing new resources, harvesting new resources, just to create the same exact thing. And I think the coolest thing about buy nothing groups is that they do this absolutely for free. It's so important to foster a gift economy, a trade economy, and just build community. It saves everyone money, it saves the planet, it helps you to know your neighbors better, and it emphasizes the need for collective change because if one person was doing this, it doesn't really matter. But once it like started to snowball and the whole world started to get involved, you can really, really see the massive impact that we can have as a collective team and the impact of building communities. I really like no buy, no buy groups too, because you know we can sit around and wait for our governments to deal with inflation, to fix our recycling, to fix this and that, 
or we can just take matters into our own hands and we really can do that with buy nothing because this is our way of boycotting landfills it's boycotting capitalism it's boycotting recycling all these systems that are broken and instead relying on one another and the resources that we already have so now that you have all this information let's all get to trading go find your group go start one yourself and start preventing stuff from the landfill i hope that this helps you to keep this out of the landfill and maybe even make some new friends in the way as well as save you some money I really think no buy groups are the hidden gem of the internet and I hope that you all go and join one after this because again, they're free and maybe you never post on there. Maybe you never take anything from the no buy group, but just being on there and getting involved, that's really the first step. And who knows, you might find some hidden treasures on there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that this video leaves you inspired and educated. And if you found any value in it, I would appreciate a thumbs up as well as if you share this with others. Because the more people that we have on these buy nothing groups, the more stuff that we can prevent from the landfills. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate your time. I'll see you in the next video. But until then, remember that your small actions make a big difference in the long run. Bye guys. <laughs> Apologies um, about mochi. I'm not sure I like this lighting after all. Well, it's just gonna have to do. We just moved again, and Mochi's really stressed about it, so she's gonna be screaming. Yes, just chill out, good girl. Yeah, I guess that's it. All right.